Hello students, let us continue with chapter 6. We were taking a look at the solved examples on uh, pages uh, 101 to 103. The one on page 101 is already solved. So we will continue what is on pages 102 and 103. Question number 5. So if a transversal intersects two lines such that the bisector of the pair of corresponding angles are parallel, then prove that the two lines are parallel. So we will first draw the diagram and understand what needs to be done exactly. So transversal intersects two lines. So we have two lines. I'll call my lines AB and PQ. And I have a transversal intersecting it. So I'll call my transversal MN. Intersecting these two transversals at point O and R respectively. Right? such that the bisectors of the pair of corresponding angles are parallel. So what I will do is I will take two corresponding angles that is MOB and ORQ and I will draw the bisectors of these angles. Correct? So obviously since this is the bisector, this angle is equal to this and this angle is equal to this. Correct? And what they have said is that these, uh, these bisectors are parallel. So I will give these name, I will call it let's say S and T. So RT is parallel to OS is given. Let us write our given and to prove that. So given MN intersects lines AB and PQ at points O and R respectively. O and R respectively means that MN is intersecting AB at O and MN is intersecting PQ at R which is why we write respectively because I haven't mentioned point O for AB and R for PQ. Respectively means the first one goes for the first one and the second one goes for the second one. Right? So uh, and the bisectors. Let's talk about the bisectors. I'll say MOS is equal to SOB, correct? Or let's say OS is the bisector of angle MOB, correct? Similarly, RT is the bisector of angle ORQ. So RT is the bisector of angle ORQ. Also, OS is parallel to RT. What do we need to prove? We need to prove that AB is parallel to PQ. So, let's do our proof now. So, what I am going to do is First, I am going to take for the bisectors. Now, OS is the bisector of MOB. OS bisects angle MOB. Therefore, what do I have? Angle MOS is equal to angle SOB. Or I will say angle MOS is equal to half of angle MOB. Correct? Right? So I'll mark this as 1. Similarly, I will say RT bisects ORQ. So RT bisects angle ORQ. Therefore, ORT is half of angle ORQ, right? Because these two angles are equal. These two angles are equal, and this angle is the half of this entire angle. Therefore, angle ORT is equal to half angle ORQ. But what has been given? It is given that these two lines are parallel. Therefore, these are a pair of corresponding angles, right? But OS is parallel to RT. Therefore, angle MOS is equal to angle 
O R T. Why? Because corresponding angle axial. Right? I'll mark this statement as three. So what do we get from one, two, and three? We get that half of M O B is equal to half of O R Q. Right? Because equals that are uh, equal to the same things are equal. So therefore, what do I get? Half of M O B is equal to angle M O B is equal to half of angle O R Q. Correct. So obviously now if I what do I what will I get? Half of this is equal to half of this. So obviously full of this will also be equal to full of this. Therefore, angle M O B is equal to angle O R Q. So what do I have? M O B. This entire angle is equal to angle O R Q. But these are a pair of corresponding angles for lines A N or A B and P Q. Therefore, what can we say? The corresponding angles are equal. Therefore, lines A B and P Q are parallel. But these are a pair of corresponding angles for AB and PQ lines AB and PQ therefore what can i say that AB is parallel to PQ corresponding angle axiom which is what we needed to prove therefore i'll say hence proved let's move on to question number 6 we have ab parallel to cd and ea perpendicular to ab and angle bef is 55 degrees and we need to find the values for x y and z so first of all we've been given that ab is parallel to cd and cd is parallel to ef therefore according to the theorem that we learned just before this exercise we will have ab parallel to cd which will be parallel to ef so ab will also be parallel to cd and ef and cd will be parallel to both the lines so all the three lines are parallel i'll say solution ab is parallel to cd and cd is parallel to ef therefore i have ab parallel to cd which is parallel to ef lines parallel to the same line are parallel to each other So now let's check for lines CD and EF, right? If you notice for CD and e, uh, CD and EF, this is like a transversal. This line here, it is like a transversal. B BE is like a transversal. Therefore, this angle and this angle make uh, make up interior angles on the same side of the transversal. Therefore, Y plus angle BEF. or def is equal to 180 degrees why because interior angles on the same uh, sum of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is 180 degrees or the uh, the pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary so now i'm going to say cd is parallel to ef therefore ang y plus angle bef is equal to 180 degrees sum of pair of interior angles on same side of transversal is equal to 180 degrees correct therefore what do i get y plus bef is what 55 degrees is equal to 180 degrees so from given given that 
BEF is 55 degrees. Therefore, Y will be what? 180 degrees minus 55 degrees. So, 180 minus 55 is how much? 5, 2, 1. 125 degrees. Therefore, Y is equal to 125 degrees. And mark this as 1. Also, now if you notice, angle X and angle Y, they are a pair of corresponding angles. Why? Because AB is parallel to CD. So, if you see this is the transversal, so angle Y and X are equal because they are corresponding angles. X is equal to Y, Y, corresponding angles. for lines A, B and C, D. Parallel lines A, B and C, D. Therefore, y, uh, x is also equal to 125 degrees. I will mark this as 2. Now, we need to find angle Z. So, if you see this angle plus this angle, this entire angle this angle plus this angle that is angle BAE and angle AEF is 180 degrees. Why? Because they are interior angles for parallel lines AB and EF. Correct? So, I am going to say AB is parallel to EF. And AE is the transversal. Correct. Therefore, angle BAE plus angle AEF is equal to 180 degrees. Right. The same reason, uh, like uh, where is it? Sum of pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is 180 degrees. So, sum of pair of interior angles on same side of transversal is equal to 180 degrees. Correct? But BAE we have it as 90 degrees because EA is perpendicular to AB. So, this is 90 degrees plus AEF. Now, AEF is made up of angle AEB and angle BEF, correct? So, plus angle AEB plus angle BEF is equal to 180 degrees, correct? This is 90 degrees here, so I will write since AE is perpendicular to AB. Correct? Now, 90 degrees plus what is AEB? We need to find AEB. So, I will write this as Z plus BEF is given to be 55 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Correct? We do not have space here. So, I will just erase this section of the board and continue. Therefore, 90 plus 55 will be how much? 145. So, 145 degrees plus Z is equal to 180 degrees. Correct? Now, 145 is getting added here. It will come and get subtracted. So, Z is equal to 180 degrees minus 145 degrees, which is what? 180 minus 145. So, this will be 5 and 7 minus 4 is 3. So, 70, 35 degrees. I will mark this as 3. So, what do we get from 1, 2 and 3? We get our answer. So, I will say answer from 1, 2 and 3, x is equal to 125 degrees, y is equal to 
125 degrees and z is equal to 35 degrees so with this we wind up with the solved examples in the next class we will start with exercise 6.2 thank you hope this video increased your knowledge for more such videos and a completely free educational content log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our epathshala youtube channel we have each and every question solved for maths physics chemistry and biology so subscribe our channel share with your friends like our facebook page and follow our twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win epathshala goodies so what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.